<laughs> like, you want it? Jump, get it. Never been good at jumping them. These tits came in in 94! And stopped running after that. I didn't run before that, though. Uh, my name's Danny, and my actual name's Danielle, but every day my dad reminded me he wanted a boy, so he called me Danny. I thought I'd go by that. Talk about my trauma on stage, you guys. You guys dating? <sighs> That's a good time. My last boyfriend liked me so much, he tried to set me on fire. Yeah. He, he broke into my house, uh, covered me in gasoline, and was like, bitch, you're cheating on me! Which I was. Uh, but I was like, you're fucking married, you fucking dick! Uh, if you knew me at all, though, you would have tried to drown me. I don't like to be hot. Get the fuck out of here with that. Oh, man, you guys have, uh, how long have you guys been dating? Couple weeks, couple months? Yeah. I, uh, I'm on Tinder, at least I was. Uh, I went to Boston, though, and it was like, if you have a bad accent and a neck tattoo with your shitty fucking area code, hit me up. I like broken guys. Mm. I also like fucking the youth, you young ones in here. Oh. Yeah! Woo! Couple weeks ago, I was fucking my daughter's friend because they all just turned 18. That was exciting. Yeah, I was at the kids' parties before, so I knew. I knew when he was going to be 18, but he rode his bike over to my house. I said, park it in the garage. Your mom's my friend. I don't want her to know. Um, and he was behind me and he said something real disturbing. He was like, call me daddy! And I was like, hey kiddo, daddy knows what he's doing. You have no fucking idea. Why don't you just lay down? Lay down and let mommy go ahead and take care of it. Because you have no fucking clue, right? You guys are brother and sister? That's fun. How many years are you guys apart? Two? Yeah? Is he older? He's younger. He's older? Do you fucking name his friends? Look at that, can't even what, no? Oh. None of, my brother didn't hang out with hot people. My brother didn't hang out with hot people, so I was really disturbed by that. I was like, man, none of your friends are hot? Not a single one? They're all Pokemon? Oh. Yeah. It's bad though, because I always wanted to be a football mom, you know? Like, I wanted to fuck the football coach when I had a son. Uh, but he's really into Pokemon, he's so nerdy. He can tell you the how many Pokemon there are, he can't tell you how many states are in the United States. Yeah, it's a good time. My daughter just turned 18, like I said. Uh, she has no college plan. So I'm trying to sell her to the highest bidder. I take crypto, I just fixed her mouth. She's got that new car smell. Uh, yeah, that's right. Are you looking to buy someone? Blonde hair, blue eyes, she's a cute girl. Doesn't talk back a lot. I hope. I don't want her anymore. Get the fuck out of here. I was like, what's your plan? I want to live in a van. Who's going to buy you the fucking van? Why don't you just stand outside and try to get kidnapped? Come on. <laughs> Come on now. I'm done. I'm done. The boy I've got to sell to a collector, you know? Nobody wants that. He's not very helpful. Is he a good boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever have a real boyfriend again. I just like to fuck him and leave him. You know? Intimacy with strangers, kiddo. Six, seven minutes. Tell me you love me. Come inside me. My tubes are tied. Advantage of fucking an old lady. Uh. <clears throat> And if, for some reason, by the grace of God, I did get pregnant, it would not survive the abortion. I've never... I've never had a kid. I've never had a kid that survived an abortion. I haven't. That's like a 100% guarantee right there, every time. I'd be real upset if I went back and was like, hey, it didn't work, got to do it again. Fuck. Like I said, I'm in California. You guys probably don't talk about that shit here. Virginia, technically speaking. Yeah, you guys are Bible thumpers out here from what I see. It's pretty hot. The only thing I did, yeah, yeah. I just like to fuck shit up, like, so inappropriate. At family gatherings, I like to talk about sex. My grandma's getting a colonoscopy. I'm just making this the right size for the next comic. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, my grandma was talking about a colonoscopy at Thanksgiving, and I was like, hey, Nona, poor Italian. I was like, when's the last time you had something up your ass? And she was like, it's been years. And I was like, well, you should practice before you go. Can you pass the mashed potatoes, please? Uh, yeah, have a good time. All right, you guys. I'm Danielle Tomika. Do you want to go to the next one? All right, thank you so much. Put your hands together for the coolest babysitter in town, Danny D, you guys. Danny D. All right, this next comedian is hilarious, everyone. Let's get clapping. Woo! Put your hands together for Kayla! 